And this is another cool feature to so get started with Shoplift, set up your brand styles. So it's going to scan your store and look for all of the different materials that you have in your brand that you can then use for your variant creation. So it's like, here's my, my title, brand fonts, brand colors. So these are like your schema. So now I'm going to finish the setup and now all of that is available to you to be able to create new tests. And here it looks like there's a, some kind of library that's like lip assist. This is trademark um, test for beginners where you can just kind of create like a new test. Like here's a business benefits bar business. So image hero. So if I wanted to change the hero, we could test it here, just create that test. And what it's doing is it's taking your homepage, your original, and then it's adding the variant for you. So you literally don't have to do anything, but press a couple buttons to get your first test started. Now in the editor function, this will look pretty similar to how you actually just build pages. So you could say, here's your image hero, explain the unique value that you provide. So this is where you can change uh, some HTML uh, of just like H1, H2 tags, value propositions, like don't discount it. Like value propositions on a page can really change your conversion rate. So you can see like you're adding like different buttons here in the shop. Now you can hit save. And now you have your variant. So after you've created your variant from your own Shopify templates, now you can go into choosing the goal. Do I want to increase average order value, conversion rate, revenue per visitor, click through rate, add to cart rate. Those are the only goals that you can, um, you can uh, test on. But I would say conversion rate, add to cart rate are typically the ones that I use the most often. Um, you can target by device, mobile and desktop, and you can also target by like this new and returning visitors. Um, this, it takes a little while. I haven't seen it populate yet. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how this works. I also like, don't really fully know the value of new versus return, um, without really knowing who that person actually is. And it's probably cookie based. Um, and then an audience targeting, this is pretty cool. So you can create a custom audiences, but they're all primarily built off of UTM parameters. So you can target by countries, um, which is not a UTM parameter, a referring domain, um, these channel groups. And then if you hit create, you can select these dimensions. And so it's looking for UTM parameters, a particular URL string, um, a referring domain or country. So you can't target on things like you know, people for age groups or men versus women. Um, but this is pretty, pretty robust for a tool that's so inexpensive. 